So today's video, like I said, we're gonna be talking about Git. We're gonna install it and we're gonna make sure it's running on our system. And we are going to also set up our GitHub account. So let's get started. All right, so as you can see on my screen, I have already started to search for Git. And now before we start here, I'll read up, I'll read off of the description on the right hand side over here. Git is a distributed version control system for tra tracking changes in source code during software development. It is designed for coordinating work amongst programmers, but it can be used to track changes in any set of files. Its goals include speed, data integrity, and support for distributed nonlinear workflows. All right, so that sort of gives us a general idea of what Git is. Basically, going to be managing our work. So in order to begin our download and installation, we're going to want to head over to the first one. It's going to be git-scm.com. It's going to be the first one, or you can go to Git downloads, but we'll start off with, with Git. And as you can see, it automatically detected what my system's running. I'm running Mac, Mac OS. And but don't 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 be afraid. Um, you know you have the Windows build. There's uh, different types you can go for. So I'm gonna since I'm running Mac, I'm gonna hit the Mac one, and immediately it's starting to show me download for Mac OS. There's several options. We have Homebrew. We have Homebrew. Uh, we can use uh, the, as it says, the binary package of Git with Xcode. So if you already have Xcode, then uh, by all means, you should be able to check your version. Uh, the binary installer, which is a uh, installer for Git, and then the building from source code. But for our purposes, uh, I'm going to be using Homebrew. And if you don't know what Homebrew, homebrew is, it's kind of like pip, uh, but here I'll show you real quick. So we're gonna use Homebrew, and Homebrew install it just says copy and paste this in order to install Homebrew. But I already have Homebrew installed, so I don't know if it's gonna take a lot of time. But here we go. Here, here I'll still go ahead and copy and paste this. Yeah, let's get this back up here. I'm gonna download this and homebrew. Oh, we have to enter a password. And there you go. So, push return to continue. So, it's gonna install homebrew and it's gonna basically, it should update me anyways. So, we're gonna let this run and we'll be right back after it's downloaded. All right, so the installation finished. It didn't take that long because I have already installed it. it took maybe like probably like 10 seconds more. But yeah, so Homebrew is now installed. We're all set. So now we're just gonna close this window down and we're gonna close Homebrew. And then once we have it installed, it says to just type in brew install git. So we're gonna open up our terminal again and we're gonna clear our screen over here and we're gonna type in brew install git. And we're just gonna let this run again and this should be installing the latest version of git. So it's doing its thing and saying warning is already installed and up to date. So it's basically telling me that I'm all set and we can confirm it by going clear and we'll do git and we get all this pop-up stuff using git version blah 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 you know all this mumbo jumbo starting to tell us other things showing us some of these commands started working area we can use clone these are common git commands we'll look into this later but let's just uh, verify, so clean git, and we're gonna do version, and we get git version 2.28.0. So our installation is all set. We're gonna close this down and go back to that later. Like I said, you can also use Xcode, it should already come with it, or the binary installer, or building from source code. I just find it very easy using Homebrew because uh, you know you can use homebrew for other things and as you can see it didn't take that much time so moving on we are going to venture out and create a github account so I'm gonna type in github I'm gonna just start off like that we're gonna search up github and again we're gonna start off and read what exactly github is so github IT service management company 
GitHub Incorporated is an American multinational corporation that provides hosting for software development and version control using Git. Emphasis on using Git. It offers the distribution, version control, and source code management functionalities of Git plus its own features. So exactly what it says, you know. It simply uses Git but it's a web it's web hosting git so it looks nicer you know you get to have your username you have your password you have more interactive feel with git as opposed to just using the terminal which can of course become quite daunting quite fast so we're gonna head on over to github and we're gonna hit join github all right so now we are all set and we're gonna go into uh, github so in order to sign up for github you're gonna want to create a username so just create any username you want there you go jonathan dash code 771 is available so then we're gonna want to put in your email so just type in whatever email you got i'll just put john at gmail.com oh and it's already taken we'll do 23 there you go and then just create a password and then sign up for git and it'll take you to wherever you have to go and let's see it's going to create your account verifying your account and i'm pretty sure it's not going to verify mine so oh well, yeah it says verify uh click the spiral galaxies one done okay I'm gonna click this and you're all set join free plan here I'll move this guy over here and so yeah it's gonna prompt you to welcome to github woohoo alright cool and then just click on whatever you wanna click I'll just do student because I am in college how much programming experience uh, we'll put uh, moderate um, you know and then just just basically fill out every all of this and then complete setup okay so now it says uh, please check your email settings before you can contribute to github we need to verify your email address so as you can see i i made a you know whatever account so i, I don't know i don't have access to john23 at gmail.com so pretty much on your end uh, create it um, remember your password your username write it down somewhere and then go verify your account and afterwards you should be able to log into github and you should be all set so with that being said i'm gonna go and log into my account there you go so that's about it it's me over there so yeah thanks for watching and next video we're gonna actually be using git uh, we already got past the installation everything checked out okay and like i said if you're using windows uh, you just follow the directions on the screen you should be fine like i said create a github account and you should be all fine you should be all set and next video we're going to be using git i'm going to be teaching you about some of the most basic and um, git commands and we will move on from there so i'm looking forward to the next video and i will see you guys next time